Ghost said to me also, if it doesn't work out this way, you know that you're not going to really get, you're not really going to be an amazing speaker. You're not really going to be a top tier speaker. You're not ever going to get there because this was the one thing that you figured out you could do and you didn't do it. You effed it up. So it's basically over now, loser. Go home. Go early. Don't even stay. That was what Ego said. And that's when you saw it literally on the screen. When I went from, <laughs> to wait, I asked for your help. Help me move from here, victim girl, to there, grateful receiver and giver. How, get me there. And Spirit's like, okay, how's seven hours? <laughs> get a little nap in. Oh, and then, and, and, oh, I can be here. There's a lot that opened. There's a lot that opened. So here's where you come in. You all ever have any of those moments like I had with the NSA where you thought you thought you needed to get to a certain place? Right? If I can just get to this, if I can just get this, if I could just get to my bank account making X, having X amount of money, if I could just get to that one job, I, I need that job, that one job is the only job that I'll get, I have to get this job. If I could just take this relationship one step further, if we could just get more serious, if I could just lose those last 10 pounds, I know I'd feel better. If I could just get a little bit more. We get to that point where our ego tells us that's the only path that we're going to get to joy. And then when it crumbles, what happens to most of us is we stay in the first part of the video for years. Thank God I only stayed in my pity party for about two hours and three glasses of Merlot. <laughs> That's where about I pity partied into. And it was a damn good party of what? But then we, you see how you can maybe see some of the patterns in your own life of where, where had it not gone the way you wanted it to go? Where's that place where you just, you got disappointed, it brought you down, you knew, you thought you were gonna get it and you didn't. And then now you're just in the temper tantrum still. I know I still have some of that stuff that I'm holding on to. So what this illustrates for me, and I hope for you, is you can't get there alone. You can for a little while. You might make one of the things. You might actually, through just blood, sweat, and tears, Mental aggravation, physical exhaustion, you might be able to, I got the sucker, I opened my business, I got it, yeah, right? But the truth is, you are going to need some help, because of what you want to create. You have big dreams, don't you? You don't want to sit here and just wallow it and have every single day be like the day before. You want it to be awesome. You have dreams in you. Start engaging. Start engaging. And so all it takes is first of all to let your ego go. Let all that stuff that says, no, 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 you suck. Let, let him or her go and die a quick death. Then you move into inspired action. You all know. When I say spirit talks to me, it's not like it's, you know, Ricardo Montalban saying, make sure you go to the gym. <laughs> this is God. It just won't go away. It's like a spirit mosquito. That just goes, Five o'clock in the morning. Where do you go to a hotel at five o'clock in the morning? Oh God, you go to the gym? Really? Oh, I hate the people that go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> they suck. Judgment. <laughs> I love them now. So I do all this, and so spirit just goes, T -t 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 and spirit just did it today. I came here at eight fifteen, which I never do. For some reason, some reason, some reason Spirit says, get up and go to church now. I get up, I go driving down, and I'm ready to turn, I'm ready to turn, like I always turn every single time. And the car goes straight down the hill, down to the lake. Why am I going down the lake? I don't know. Look at me. Okay, park my car. I park my car. It's 8, the 
8.30. Now what? Three inch wedges, okay, by the lake. Nobody's in three inch wedges by the lake in all white, prayer white with a hula hoop. You don't see it every day around the lake. So I'm going, what am I doing here? Should I just sit in the car and meditate? And all the spirits like, get out of the car and hope, you dummy. So I go, I'm walking. Now here all my shadow material starts popping up, okay? Those of you that have seen me before, I'm getting a lot of, oh my God, people are gonna look at me, people are gonna look at me, oh, oh, look out, look out, look out, look out. Well, you know what? Looking down doesn't change the fact that they're looking at you. They're still looking at you. So I'm walking and finally it's like, wait a minute. Walk your walk, walk your talk. Walk your talk, walk your talk, walk your talk, walk your talk! You are spirit in action. Act it! So I find a spot. Sailboats, grass, no music. I don't have any music. That's a problem. Because the music lets, lets me hide. The music also brings me a, a greater groove, but it lets me hide. So, here's another one of those plop down into your first chakra deals, and you go, really? Start hooping. Okay. And then, of course, the hoop takes me over because the hoop is a very powerful medicine. And I just start doing my thing, and I recognize that people are starting to look. And people are saying really nice things. They're not saying what I thought they were going to say. The men, the men, the men, they loved it. <laughs> they loved it! The old ducks, they're walking the silver sneakers. Amazing, keep it up, go faster, love you! And the women too, the women were like, that is so cool! That is so cool, how do you do that? I'm getting the love from all these different people, you know, and then some of the, some of the tighter people, that must be great exercise! Yep, it sure is! We can just stay right up here on top if you want. And then, so now I'm really, st okay, good, this is good, this is good. Some woman comes up to me and said, hey, I saw you on TV the other day doing the hula hoop deal. And as a result, I've been getting a bunch of business to make hula hoops because she has a business that does movement orientation things. She says, by the way, I have a 15 year old back, 15 year background in management consulting where we're gonna go into co to, to companies and do things like this. I'd really love to talk with you about the possibility of you consulting with me. I'll bring all the business. Here's my card, happen to have one. <laughs> but how did that happen? It happened on that card when I paid attention to the sign. When my brain would go, why are you going down to the hill? When my brain says, get into the parking lot. But spirit said, go down to the hill. I also ran into some of my shadow there too, as I was starting to go, and I really started to go, wait a minute, it's not scary to hoop in front of these people. It's not something that I have to feel embarrassed of or ashamed of, or feel dirty of, or feel you know that it's not a good thing or not me. Just when I thought, yeah, kumbaya, we all love each other. The 15 year old girls walk by. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I may. <clears throat> now, this was right before, and I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm like, I'm like my mother with the VCR. We'll just have to imagine me looking extra super hot. Can you imagine it? Is it in your head? Okay. Good, because that's what I did. I looked super duper hot. And I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling the groove. There are two totally hot looking guys that walk by, and one goes, yeah! Like, literally, I went, yeah! I mean, seriously. You're exactly right. <laughs> then the pack. 15 year old girls walk by in their straight long hair with their tight ponytails and their little workout shorts and their little workout shirts and their super duper cool shoes all walking in unison very fast so they can get lots and lots of exercise and I hear one of them say 
say, oh my God, do we like really have to see that? <laughs> and that brought me back to junior high when, when I wanted to be myself, the pack of hyenas known as teen girls said, do you really think you should be doing that? And they have in such a way, right? And there was that part of me instantly when I started that I thought, stop hooping. You're right. They're right. Then I was like, screw that. These are 15-year-old girls who desperately, desperately want love, who desperately want connection, who want so badly to be perfect because they think that will be the doorway. And I am like lemon juice in the wound. Here's this rotund, curly-haired she-devil at 42 years of age, hula hooping by the lake, going, I think I'm beautiful. You? So it's about letting go and taking that action. And it's also about community, because then all of a sudden, people are going, that's amazing. That's really cool. That's really great. How do you learn that? How to do that? And I thought to myself, as I had said, maybe, you know, hello to the 20th person. Hey, dummy, maybe you should put a little flyer out that says hoopwoman.com. You're a speaker. You're, you, hear, you do services every month at LHSC. Why don't you get your name out just like you said you wanted? So it's inspired action. In your life, where you are, where is it that you need to start to get out of the pity party and move into the action? It's time. It's time. The universe, it's not just about me. This is what's happening in the universe. Y'all feel it. It's like, really seriously, show up. We're going to spin faster for you. We're going to get people. I mean, how, no one could possibly have orchestrated that many coincidences for me. But spirit. And spirit's ready to do the same for you. So let's get into it. Let's release it. Part of it is to feel it. Part of it is to move through it. So we're going to do a little meditation, healing meditation. <clears throat> I want you to find your feet. I want you to feel the ground, feel your butt. Make sure that you're really arrived. Ryan, you can do um, the music. <coughs> so as you sit in your body, as you sit in this present moment, I want you to breathe deeply three times to fully arrive in the moment. Breathe into your body, all the way down into your belly, all the way down into your back. Second breath. Breathe into your arms and into your legs. And your third breath, breathe all the way through your entire body and surround your entire body in your breath. Inside and out, you just clean it all out and you fully arrive. Find that thought that's diving around in your head that is like the, the gnat that won't go away, that gnat that says that you're not gonna get what you want. You're not going to get the things that you deserve. What is that episode or that conversation, that witnessing that you saw that said things aren't going to work out the way you want them to, that the world isn't safe? What is that thought? And I'd like you to take that thought and take it from your mind and let it just travel down through the brain stem, down through your spine, and let it pop out into your heart center. Let that same thought start to occupy in your heart instead of in your head. And then I want you to imagine with your next breath now that you're going to take all of the rage and all of the pain and all of the sadness of that experience where you felt 